I'm Gitari Davis, the head of Rack Media Group. We are here to, to respond to the report from Sentry, which was released on 21st of February 2023. Rack Media Group rejects the allegations leveled against it in a report released by Sentry on February 21st, 2023. The allegations are unfolded and are based on malicious falsehoods with a clear intention of damaging the reputation of the company. We wish to assure all our stakeholders that all our business dealings are guided by the rule of law. Such inaccurate reports are a direct attack on local companies that are working hard to create employment and build the capacity of the youth in South Sudan. To debunk the claims made in the report, we wish to point out that Track Media Group is an independent company that is not linked to Trinity Energy in any way, and therefore, all transactions that have taken that have taken place between the two entities are purely based on normal business engagement. And Rack Media continues to be a, the number one printing partner for Trinity Energy. The business transactions between Trinity Energy and Rack Media Group involving the exchange of currency were transparent and with, within the operating procedures of the commercial banks. For Century to have equated such transactions to money laundering is a depiction of brilliant matters. The need to the need to exchange currency with Trinity Energy was occasioned by the restriction of the central bank that limited the total ad currency accessible to the organizations between 200 to 500 per day, which could not support business operations, especially regional and international purchases that were done in US dollars. The invoices totaling to 320 from Rack Media Group to Trinity Energy as cited in the report released by Sentry were purely for business led by Rack Media Group to Trinity Energy at a time when the latter was facing serious economic hardship. Therefore, such payments were purely for goods delivered on credit for a period of three years. The aforementioned cannot be termed as trade based money laundering as stated in the report by Sentry. Documents to support such transactions are annexed to the, this press release for media consumption. Claims that such as, such as business card were printed at amounts significantly higher than the market rate are unfolded. The company uses a system of job cards where batch jobs are treated as one and charged under one invoice, which is, state, which is a, a standard market practice. Assertions that $10,243 and $26,800 were charged for printing ID cards are false and not verified. As a printing press, we are competitive with a transparent pricing system that is tightly controlled. Therefore, we condemn Sentry reports allegations in the strongest terms possible. As a, repu as a reputable brand, Rack Media Group wishes to assure the public that we remain transparent in our business dealings. As corporate citizens, we will continue to support the country and the youth on courses meant to establish a better South Sudan. Further correspondence on this matter will be added by our legal team. Thank you.